Um, I wanted to introduce our next guests, which are Peter Sandmark and Justin Love. Peter Sandmark is the executive director of MediaNet, which is a local video production and presentation center, pretty rad. And then Justin Love is a multimedia artist whose work has been featured at international events and symposiums. So let's give him a round for coming tonight. Hi, Peter. Hi, Justin. Welcome. Hello. Hi, thank you. Great. I'm glad to be here. Good to see you. So, um, Peter, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit uh, briefly about MediaNet and some of the services it provides to uh, members. Yeah, MediaNet's a, a video art production center and um, also presents a, a lot of screenings of video art or documentary films, all kinds of things, as well as uh, presents a lot of training workshops and intensive production programs uh, so that people can learn how to make videos, um, uh, all kinds, from documentary to experimental and video art. Um, and I think that's you know what we're up to now, which is our, our new program, uh, called Video Lab. Great. Could you tell us a little bit about Video Lab? Well, I've got a little flyer here. I don't know if the camera can get a close up on that and I can get a little zoom in, you know, because it'd be nice to get a little uh, detail on this because it is called Video Lab because it's like a laboratory where we can explore. We're like scientists and uh, we've gotten a number of people together to get um, uh, people to experiment with uh, video and also components, computer, digital components that allow us to interact, create interactive uh, situations so you could have a, a video that is um, uh, affected by the viewer's presence. Like for example, in, in a gallery space or something like that. I'm sorry, am I shaking it around? So, now I've got another close up too. I heard, let's see, here's the kind of gear that we might be using. You know, this could be used as a sensor or something like that. I don't really know that much about this kind of stuff, but Justin does. Maybe uh, I, can, I can pass this yeah, over to Justin. Justin, if you could tell us a little bit about some of the possibilities of interactive sure. media. Right. <laughs> that being one, I suppose. Great, yes. This broken cell phone has so much potential, uh, but we probably won't be using it at the workshop. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, so the workshop that, uh, that I'm going to be teaching as part of the, the Video Lab thing is uh, we're going we're gonna to learn how to take uh, sort of things in the real world, uh, could be anything, uh, touch or movement or flexibility or temperature or the distance something is, uh, and, and, and we're going we're gonna, to uh, tie those into video in real time. So, uh, for example, as someone got closer to a, a video, it might slow down or change in some way or change to a different scene. So it's, a, it's, it's sort of a, uh, an interactive kind of way of doing video. See, like Justin says, there's the real world and then there's the digital world, right? And we want to shout out to our uh, people watching on the digital world. Hello, I don't know which camera you're at. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're on the uh, so, you know, for example, we had performances of dancers here. So with an interactive ability, you could have the dancers or performers triggering something that might uh, change uh, video-wise or anything that really could be done triggered digitally could be done. So yeah, over the years I've done all kinds of things. I've turned a bicycle in, into an interface. I've worked with dancers where we, we take the, their movements on stage and, and map them to, you know, to video and, and to audio in real time. Um, it's a it's a nice extension, uh, like uh, into the. We, I, I like to work in traditional arts a lot, but but uh, bring technology into it. Like uh, the last Urbanite, I was. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to do, but I got uh, kind of grouped together with a painter. So I I made an interface that let uh, a canvas and paint make music. So we did this kind of uh, interactive painting using a, a canvas. So it sounds like there's skills of different sorts that people could learn in coming to this, this workshop, whether they be video artists or whether they be visual artists or anyone just curious to see what the technology can do. Um, Justin, can you tell us, uh, during your weekend workshop, what yeah. will people be doing specifically? They're gonna, it's a hands-on workshop, so they're actually literally going to be wiring up sensors to a microcontroller, and it, it all sounds very intimidating, but but uh, they're going to be using a, a microcontroller called the Arduino, uh, and it was made specifically for artists and designers and hobbyists and people that don't have an electronics background or an engineering background to, to enable them uh, to, to, to do this kind of interactive art with. So um, even if yeah, even if you've never like touched a you know touched a, a soldering iron before or wired anything out before, 
uh, uh, you'll be able to come to the workshop and at the end of it leave with enough knowledge to, after two days, to, to, to actually start to build your own interactive multimedia installations. Uh, that's great, that's great. So when is this workshop taking place? Oh, I didn't mention that it's starting on July 23rd and running until August um, 13th. Let me just check that. And where is it going to be held? Well, uh, it's going to start at our MediaNet headquarters, um, and then we're going to move over to Open Space uh, Art Society, which is uh, down on Fourth Street, and that's where Justin will be doing his workshops at the Open Space, and that's where the people who participate in it will be able to build their own interactive video art installations, and then they will be exhibited at Open Space um, from August 10th to the 13th. So um, it's only $200. I don't wow. know how we're managing to do it in this uh, crazy economic uh, conditions. But uh, Well, that's great. I know I'm looking forward to it. And uh, if people want some more information about Video Lab, they can go to MediaNet's website. Did I, did Thank I you get very a much. close up? <laughs> Whoa, oh, there goes the mic. <laughs> we got the close up, though. I'm glad you did that, not me. <laughs> Thanks.